All right, so this is the offset. This is, there's a bolt that goes in here. It offsets down and then comes over here and then goes through your lower control arm to this nut here. So I've already loosened it up. The problem with this design, and the reason why Ford only did it for two years, is that it allows the whole lower arm to move. Um, they did it to be able to provide a smoother ride at slower speeds. So the taxis and the police interceptors um, don't actually have this. They actually have a straight bolt through there. Or, um, or some of them have a bar that attaches here and attaches to the bolt on the other side and then holds those together so they don't actually move and pivot. So this is a problem that um, most people are running into right now with 63 and 64 Galaxies. I have a Galaxy Country Sedan Wagon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bolt here. It's a big bolt. I believe this is 1 and 7 eighths. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull that out and I'll show you what the bolt actually looks like. All right, this is the offset. This is the part that goes into your lower control arm. It has this offset and then this bolt and shaft here. This bolt and shaft here slide into this housing. This screws in and this is the piece that goes right in there. If you're working on a 63, you'll know exactly where this is. Um, so that is a inch and seven eighths socket to be able to get this off. Um, they sell them at O'Reilly's. I couldn't find it anywhere else, but when you go into O'Reilly's, they don't have on the shelf to ask them to order it from the warehouse. The warehouse does have them. So the way this works is you put your control arm on there, you slide in the hole, and then you, you screw this in. When you screw this in, you see the threads on there, so that screws in on the inside of this housing here, and this one screws onto the frame. Now, there's a guy, and I'll put the link in the description, that makes one of these that goes that has the same size here, screws in about here, and then has a shaft out the back side. So that way you have a straight shaft versus an offset. So the offset allows it to move. The straight shaft that the guy makes allows it not to move. Um, by not letting it move, you have better alignment, your tires don't wear out as fast, and it's just overall better for the handling. You don't feel all squirrely. They call it noodly um, when you're at freeway speeds. It gets rid of that noodly feeling. So um, it's not a cheap bolt though. A brand new bolt is around $350, I believe. And But you can send in your piece here and they will attach a new bolt to it to make it to bypass the offset so you can still use the original one from your vehicle if you choose. Um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to go ahead and spend the extra and get the new one. That way I don't ever have to worry about it ever again.